a video that says how to play Wii and GameCube games on the computer. You must have at least a CPU with SSE2 installed. And it would be nice to have a Core 2, one with 3 gigahertz, but I don't have that. First, go to www. What that says, I'll put that in the description. And download. The one that meets your computer. I have a sixty four bit computer. But you you must download the one that um meets your computer. to start the tutorial. Open Dolphin and you shouldn't have any games right here. Press go to c config enable dual core if you have a dual core CPU Enable uh, uh, idle skipping. Enable cheats. HLE the IPL. JIT recompiler. Use panic handlers. Boomy. This. Uh, you'll have to configure. Well, it's. pretty easy so you, you don't really have to configure this it's automatic for you if you have PAL games use something mode paths add to what whatever your GameCube and Wii ISOs are in Plugins, Direct3D, Dolphin HLE plugin, Dolphin GC Pad plugin, Dolphin Wii Remote plugin. Now go to graphics. And that's my graphics card. That's, you can change that if you want. Go to DSP, that should be good. Go to GameCube Pad. You can do whatever you want, but I think Z, X, A, S, D, Enter, T, G, F, H is pretty good and all that. We, we mode. 
if you have a real view view remote, then you should get a Bluetooth dongle and a um wireless sensor bar, not a normal sensor bar, a wireless one. Unless you already have a Wii, you can just plug it into a Wii. But I choose emulated Wii Remote, sideways Wii Remote, because that's what New Super Mario Bros. Wii is for. And button mapping, I use C, X, Z, X, wait. C, X, no, C, X, Z, X, yeah, that should be right, well, I'm going to change it up too, um, and you can configure that how you want, And now, you can download these from the internet, or you can get some special DVD writer drive, but I just download them from the internet. Click on the one you want to play, and then press play. Here we go! 